Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Hope you are too. Hope you have a great day. Maybe this will help. Can you imagine going to a small group, meeting a bunch of people for the first time, and the person who's giving direction to the small group says, and now we would like you to share your deepest, darkest secret. And there's a bunch of nervous laughter, and then the, the director is just like, no, no, I'm serious. The worst thing you've ever done. Maybe you've never told another living being ever, but today you will. I don't think too many people would be comfortable with that. But here's the question. How many of us know the real person that we are? Somebody pointed this out to me many years ago, that the person that we put out on Facebook, let's face it, we, we edit the photos that we put out. Has anybody ever published a photo of you on Facebook and you didn't like what they put out? Oh, that's happened. What I get a kick out of is I've been tagged. You know, there's the, the tagging thing, and I don't know how to stop it, and I'm not really into all that. But twice I've been tagged. And I go and I look at the picture. Oh, somebody put a picture of me up. It's like it's not. There's just some old white-haired guy in the picture. And Facebook thought that it was me. But the truth of the matter is there's our Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat self, and then there's the real person. The problem is this. If you don't know the real me, and you love me, I know that you don't know the real me. And your love, in a way, is diminished. Bob Goff puts it this way. He says, lies build walls that make it harder for love to get through. The reason is simple. People can't receive our love if they think we don't see them for who they really are. You're just really liking or loving the Facebook Paul Gleiman, not the real one. Think about that. How often does that happen? But let's take the opposite of that, is when somebody does know us with all of our flaws, maybe that's kind of what marriage is supposed to be about, right? With all of our flaws, all of our warts, all of the things that aren't so good, our deepest, darkest secrets, and they love us anyway, that's powerful. You know, in the course of almost any given month, someone's going to come and talk to me probably about one of those deep, dark secrets. And one of the things that I realize is, one, confidentiality. Two, it really matters how I respond to them. And do you know what? It matters how you respond as well when somebody tells you something. They could have fudged and they could have said, well, it wasn't so bad. But they're just like, no, you know what? I'm just going to tell you the way it really is. Do you think they're watching your face? Yeah, they are. You think they're listening for the tone in your voice? Yes, they are. Jesus said this, Woe to you teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. Not a nice word. You are like whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of the bones of the dead and everything unclean. What is Jesus saying? You are only concerned about image, and you won't let me do an inside job in your life. Jesus always wants to do the inside job. Eventually, the outside starts looking better, too. Let God love you for who you truly are. And my prayer for you is that you have a circle of friends who do know some of the worst stuff about you. Because when they love you, it's incredibly powerful. God bless you. Have a great day.